And now they decide to foul intentionally. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. But there was no time really to be selective. Line, Stopping the clock was the priority. Chris, oh. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. And, and that's curtains for him. Some really good work at the charity strike to close this one out. Now a timeout. They can't guard us on the perimeter. What you spread the floor, isolate up top. Spacing. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Ernie Johnson joined by Shaquille O'Neal. Kenny the Jet Smith, thanks for tuning in. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the New York Knicks going up against the Chicago Bulls. For Chicago, they're looking to come out strong and make their mark early. They have to look at this game as a great opportunity to do just that. And Jimmy Butler, the 30th pick out of Marquette back in 2011. Every season he's improved, and Shaq made a huge jump last year, didn't he? Last year he won the Most Improved Player Award. You know, he showed me he can get it done in the mid-range, around the rim, on the defensive end. He stepped up. Yeah, that was a career year for him, all across the board. You know, he averaged 19 points, you know, three assists, and he's... It's the Chicago Bulls. Facing the New York Knicks. Welcome, everybody. Glad you decided to spend your Thursday night with us here at 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Rajon Rondo is out there with Dwayne Wade. Then it's Taj Gibson. Then there's Robin Lopez. And it's Butler in at the small forward position. And you look at Joe Kim Noah. I mean, one of those hybrid talents. As a center, he gives you the rebound and the shot blocking you want. But then he also has Two tremendous shots. passing skills and instincts and the energy of a mountain lion. And going back to Joe Kim Noah, he really is a hybrid. He holds American, Swedish, and French citizenships. He's truly a man of the world, and he's worldly on the floor. He can guard and play a lot of different positions. And, and Kevin, he, he looks like a man of the world. He, he has a unique style unto himself, but, but I'll take the versatility and the hustle he brings on my team any day. If he's healthy, he's a factor. A splendid pass that time by Rose. In the corner, Gibson with it. The drive by Rondo, and he gets it to go. Rondo's got his first two points of the night. Nice work. that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there, and a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. Now, here's Wade following the miss by Derrick Rose. 
The defense there got away with a major lapse. Lee kicks to Anthony. Launches a three. Kept alive by New York. Fires the three. Anthony missing again. The Bulls have gone two or three here to start out the game. Butler goes in. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one falling. And the foul on Derrick Rose. That is his first foul of the game. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Wade with it. Now Anthony defending. They get the rebound. And it's blocked by Anthony. Rondo against Rose. New York moving the ball around. And a wide open look for Lee. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. How in the world did they let him get that wide open? The Bulls have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Guys, the Bulls' defense was as stout as ever last season. A big part of that is they have guys that challenge you inside and at the rim. Even off the bench, all of their bigs are mobile and protect the basket. Here's Wade following the score by Derrick Rose. Lopez outside. Wade drives in. Up and in on the layup. Wade's got his first bucket in this one. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. From deep three-point range, the rebound by Gibson. Gibson's got his third rebound on the night. On the wing, Dwayne Wade, covered by Noah. Butler passes to Rondo. On the wing, Dwayne Wade. Six to shoot. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. That one on Rose. Dwayne Wade continues Clark to change his game as he gets older. I admire the way guys can do that. They want they, their head says one thing, but their body kind of tells them another. And you have to give in to your body as you age, that's for sure. Used to attack the rim all the time. Now it's mid-range jumper heavy. And for Wade and his change in style, I, I really felt it was a necessity. Guys his age can't continue to hit the floor as often as he's used to and expect to make it all the way through the season. No free throws good from Wade. And you know, in general, back to Wade now. All the greats evolve and add to their games as their careers move forward. The best way to stay relevant in the NBA is by adding to your game and honing your skill. Now here's Anthony. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. No doubt that is within his range. Well, I would hope so. He's a pro, and it was only a one-footer. Come on now. A one-hand slam is so sweet when it's his hand doing the slam. Oh, yeah, he is so smooth, even on a power finish like that. And really, that's what makes him unique, that combination of power and polish. Here's Lee after the Bulls pick up two. Anthony missing again. Not a quarter to remember as far as his offense is concerned. Yeah, you know, he's not making any kind of impact for them at that end of the court right now. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And for Wade, we, we often talk about his physical state. But what about the mental toughness? He, here's a guy who's been playing in some kind of pain every game for the past few years. But he just keeps churning the butter, not wanting to let his team down. Greg, you brought up the topic of Wade. He's had a 
You know, a chance to make several tough mental adjustments throughout his career. Well, he's always been a guy willing to alter his game for the good of the team. That's why he's got those championship rings, Kevin. You've got to be flexible, not just talent. Yeah, when Shaq comes in and joins him, then he had to change away when LeBron came in to play. Jennings wide open. No good on the three. Here's Chicago. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Rondo with the ball. Now Anthony defending. Here's Miritich. He with the block. Anthony, no one around. But they get it back. Pass to Persingas. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. Anthony missing again. He's jacked up a number of threes, but his accuracy has been lacking. Time to try something different, if you ask me. And he gets it to go. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And it took him quite a while, but after seven misses, he gets something to drop, finally. Stolen. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Lee outside. 20 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Persingas. That's good. Really, the defense is helpless to stop the layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. The drive by Rondo. Excellent D there from Anthony. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Next down, 17, 18. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. Yeah. In Chicago. And some tough time for the Knicks, but you listen to Carmelo Anthony, it's clear he's invested in this franchise. Knicks fans rooting for Carmelo to help make New York a... playoff venue once again and you know what it's going to take a lot more than Carmelo playing strong to get the, the, the Knicks back into the playoffs and, and, and to make them a destination to where NBA stars want to come welcome back folks we have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play and a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Bulls really some great drives to the basket here early on for these guys you know, we've seen them bearing their fair share of mid-range jumpers tonight, too. I mean, that's a good start for them. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So the Bulls five right now. They've got Calderon. Robin Lopez out there with Miritich. Then there's Jimmy Butler. And it's Wade in at shooting guard. And it's Rogan finishing it off. Well, that's why they're on the lead. Aggressive play at both ends. Very nicely done there. Absolutely, they make the steal, pay dividends instantly on the fast break. Now here's Wade. He's got eight. The layup missed. 
And that's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Always important to have that good interior defense. Jennings can't get it.